So one of the things that we have been working on since 2009 is trying to understand when fungicides will be best useful in crop production. Now fungicides are a relatively new input for most growers. You know, we've only really talked about them being in production since about 2007. And that's about the time that crop production became very profitable for growers. And crop prices have increased greatly in the last few years, and that allows growers to have more money to put into inputs to protect the crop. With crop prices so high, every bushel counts, and so growers have no tolerance for yield loss for things that would be um, from diseases. And so our job has been to conduct research at the Purdue Agricultural Centers to understand where fungicides might be beneficial in what areas and under what prediction systems. One of the questions we're interested in answering is, would fungicides be appropriate to control ear rots? So what we do is we have research here at the Throckmorton Purdue Agricultural Center and also at the Penny Purdue Agricultural Center where we're going to wait till this corn gets tall enough to produce an ear. And once those silks come out of that ear, we're actually going to inject the ear with fungal spores and that will cause it to produce a mold over the ear. Then we'll be able to apply fungicides and understand if the fungicides can halt disease development and if they would be something that would reduce the amount of mold on the ear. From this, we'd be able to, to get recommendations on if the products work and what we should be um, recommending for Indiana farmers.